Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of introduction to Selenium, let's find out the future of Selenium using chart GPT A. Okay. Nowadays, right, uh, people started using chart GPT AI and uh, asking a lot of questions. And in this session, I'm going to use the same artificial intelligence that is chart GPT thing uh, to find out the future of Selenium. Okay, to clear a uh, lot of people have a lot of doubts, right? Whether is Selenium for me, is Selenium has a good demand in the market, what about the future of Selenium? All these doubts will be cleared, okay? In simple and straightforward way. So let's find out the future of Selenium with the help of Chart GPT AI. It's Chart GPT AI answering, not me. Okay. So let's find out how to do that. Let's open the browser and search for this Chart GPT. Chart GPT generally concludes the stuff and give you a proper answer, guys. Okay. In simple manner. So let's click on this openai.com Chart GPT as of now and uh, click on try Chart GPT. And here let's ask a question. What is the future? Okay, what is the future of Selenium test automation tool? Simple. Okay, let's see. So it's giving us an answer, guys. Uh, let's see what is the future of Selenium. Okay. So as per the date and time, it, it is giving a proper answer to us. Okay. So Selenium is a popular test automation tool that has been widely used for automating the web applications. Okay. And web application testing there is. So, okay. So there have been many advancements in web development and uh, Selenium has continued to evolve and adapt to these changes. Okay. So Selenium is also adapting. That proves that Selenium, you know, is kind of, you know, a very good tool. Any tool which adapts to the advancements that are happening in the web development, right? That tool is going to be popular, right? That tool is popular and will have good feature. The future of Selenium test automation tool, tool looks promising. Okay. So as it uh, continues to provide a comprehensive suite of tools for automating the web application testing. So, okay. It looks promising. It's saying, and here are some trends uh, that are likely to shape the future of Selenium. So increased adoption of cloud based testing. Okay. Uh, so fine integration with uh, other tools. So test Selenium is already integrating with many tools, guys. Let's not go deep into this, but you know, with other tools, Selenium is able to integrate, guys. Okay. A lot of uh, third party tools it can integrate with. And a better support for mobile testing. Okay. So there is something known as APM, which is uh, on the top of, you know, which to uses the same technology of Selenium, guys. Okay. If you learn Selenium learning, APM is nothing. Okay. So APM is also evolving. Selenium is also evolving. So they are like, you know, uh, they are like together, guys. Okay. So Selenium for web, uh, web, web automation, web application, uh, automation testing, whereas APM for mobile application automation testing. But you see, APM has its own set of commands. Say uh, uh, we have to use these commands uh, with a set of uh, any programming languages. Selenium also has its own set of commands. Okay, we just need to uh, learn the different set of commands. That's it. If you learn Selenium, right, uh, learning APM is nothing, guys. Okay, and uh, improved AI and ML capabilities. Okay, <clears throat> so as there is a simple, what what is saying is uh, since Selenium is adapting to the market needs okay is evolving according to the market needs so the selenium guys are working very hard okay to make selenium continue its popularity in the coming days okay so no matter what cloud-based testing will come or ai and ml capability related applications will come no matter what since selenium is evolving every day okay so uh the this chat gpt is saying that it has utmost confidence that Selenium is going to have good feature. Okay. So whatever the work that is going on in Selenium to adapt to the future changes. Okay. Based on that. Okay. Whatever the work that has happened till now. And uh, based on that, the AI is predicting that, okay. The Selenium tool is going to have a good feature irrespective of what technologies are going to come because Selenium is getting evolved over a period of time. Okay. Overall, the future of Selenium looks bright 
and it will likely to continue to be an essential tool for automating web application testing. Okay, so we are not going to get rid of this web application, right? Everyone uses a laptop, even though we have tablets and all, still we use laptops, right? And desktop devices, uh, applications and all. So, I mean, web applications in uh, desktop computers and all, okay? So that proves that uh, Selenium is going to continue in the coming days and uh, and also it's, it's getting evolved. It has a strong community support, okay? Which is working so hard to deliver some kind of Selenium features that match with the future technologies okay so guys uh these all okay that you need to go and understand about uh you know the future of selenium so i hope that your doubts about the future of selenium got cleared uh, i don't think uh, other than this there is another best way to figure out like uh, what is the future of selenium okay don't hear the news here and there selenium has a bright future guys okay whatever it is it's, it's a complete ecosystem, guys, okay? Selenium is behind our reach, okay? It's a complete ecosystem. Based on Selenium, a lot of automation tools are getting built, okay, in the market. So if you go to the official website of Selenium, okay, not just, uh, let's not depend on chart GPT, I'll also take you to the official website of Selenium. Uh, it, Selenium has built a complete ecosystem, guys, okay? It has built a complete ecosystem. Let's see if there's any ecosystem mentioned in this documentation. Okay. Let's see if the website has been changed recently. So projects done now. Nah. Okay. So let's go to the this one. Let's see where it's taking us. Ecosystem. Yeah, ecosystem page I have been taken to. There is an ecosystem full of open source project around Selenium, guys. Okay. It's not about all about Selenium, guys. On top of Selenium, since Selenium is an open source and all, right? You see, a lot of ecosystem is being created surrounding Selenium, guys, okay, and WebDriver, okay, the number of drivers, binding, plugins, frameworks, data maintained by third parties, okay, so there is a lot of things created around Selenium, okay, using Selenium, there is a lot of things, as by using Selenium as a wrapper or something, people have built a lot of stuff, okay, people have built a lot of stuff, a lot of frameworks have been built, you see, Selenium is not a simple thing as you think, guys, okay, it's not just a tool, there is a lot behind, okay, what's happening in the market, okay, surrounding the Selenium, a lot of ecosystem has been built, okay, like this, you see, you can go through this ecosystem page once, uh, so that you'll understand what's happening around Selenium, okay, even Appium is using technology of Selenium like that, okay, Appium, which is used for mobile application testing is based on Selenium only, okay, some technology has taken from Selenium and then created for mobile kind of thing, okay, like that. So Selenium is an ecosystem, guys, and that's why it will have or going to have a great future in the coming days, okay? It's like an innovation uh, pumped into the market and uh, the other things, other people who are in, uh, will use that innovation and create something out of it, okay? Like that, okay? It's a very big thing, okay? Uh, it's uh, more than a tool, guys, okay? It's an ecosystem altogether. So that's all for this session, guys. I don't want to drag it more, okay? I try to convey more like a... Uh, uh, just to give you more uh, like understanding of what exactly Selenium in this session, okay? Apart from chat GPT answering our question about uh, the future of Selenium, I wanted to give more information, like uh, to give a different perspective of Selenium, but uh, outside the tool, it's ecosystem and all, okay? So that's all for this session. Uh, in the next session, I'm going to cover another uh, topic from this introduction to Selenium, the next topic from introduction to Selenium category from Selenium Python training series. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.